Hey folks, we, we're going to do our first ever interview question from HackerRank live. Let's go do that. Let's log in. By the way, if the content I create is helpful to you, please subscribe. That, help, that helps my channel and I really appreciate it. All right, here we are. Two challenges. I just did this one twice so I can be good at it when I do it live. So we will do the salt one, counting rallies. Hopefully you didn't remember my solution. Yep, it didn't, that's good. Okay, so uh, before I start, this one was very hard for me. Um, I just couldn't get the logic right, partly because my code wasn't all that great, but partly because there is a mistake, in my opinion, in this, in this, in this problem. I ended up getting lots of help from ChatGPT to get this going. But one of the reasons why it's confusing because if you look at the definition of a value here, so first of all, what the problem is. Problem is, problem says, it's a hiker when he or she is going down step, records a D. When he or she goes up step, records a U. He or she starts at sea level and at sea level. And we're supposed to count values and values are defined as, drum roll please, a valley is a sequence of consecutive, consecutive steps below sea level, starting with the step down from sea level and ending with the step up to, up to sea level. So when you come back up to sea level, that's the end of the valley. But look at the definition. It says sequence of consecutive steps as if it has to be at least two. When I ran my code for the life of, me, I could not figure out why lots and lots of the test cases were failing. That's because, well, partly because my code was wrong, but also because this is wrong. If you do, and I'll show you this, if the person goes down a step, comes back up, the next step, it's not a consecutive steps, right? But they count it as a value. And I'll show you that when my code is working. All right. So, Let's get started. This is the function we're supposed to write. What variables do we need? We need a variable for the count of values. Easy enough. Int 32, start with the zero. We also need um, current height or current level. Let's call it height. That way it's pretty obvious. Current height, again, in 32. And again, it starts with the zero. Uh, what else? By the way, they give you the length of, of the string or array over here, and then the path. Okay, so we'll, then more, we'll need more variables than that, but let's get started. First of all, we will loop through the entire length of the string. So for index, oh, there's index, I need the index. Index. The reason I, I don't have to define this, but the reason I define this is because otherwise I, it, it gets confused between int and int 32. I just found that if I define it, all the, all my problems go away. Index equals um, zero to start with. And as long as index is less than steps, which they give you already. And then each time, of course, we, go up by one. Now, what do we do in the middle? First of all, if path, if the, if the character that we're looking at, in this case, index from path equals D, that means our current level just went down. Same thing, if path index equals u, that means we just went up. We just went up. So 
that would be plus plus. Okay, now when is it a value? In my original code that caused me so much grief, I was counting value when it started. Turns out, for some reason, that code didn't work pretty well. So we have to count it um, when the value is ending. So when does the value end, right? If, well, first of all, let's define when the value is starting, right? If current height is less than zero, so we're below sea level, and that's the one I'm missing in value. We need something that keeps track whether or not you're in a valley or not. In valley, Boolean, to start off, we're not in a valley, so we will be at false. If the current height is less than zero, that means we just went down. And in valley equals false. That means we just entered a valley. Okay. Just entered a valley. So we will turn in valley into true. Now what do we when does the valley end when you come up to zero? By definition. So if Current height equals zero. We just came up to came up to sea level, and in valley used to be true because we used to be in valley. Then we do two things. One, of course, we turned in valley into false because we're now at sea level, and we count up number of valleys. This was this is what I was, this is what I was doing wrong. I was counting it when at the beginning of that, and some, so for some reason that messed up my code. It didn't work. But if you count it when the valleys end, that works out okay. So we did that. Now where is the end of the function? Let's return valleys. That's what we really want. Okay. No syntax issues. So we're going to first run the code on our given and public data set. It seems to have worked. Now, before I, this one has tons of test cases. So I'm going to make up my own test before I run that. So let's say we only have two. First we go down, then we come up. That should be one value. And that worked. Now, notice by definition, it should not be consecutive steps. Even in one step, they counted as a value. That was the second reason why my, my code took so long to figure it out. Okay, now let's try testing one more time, or several times. That should be two values. Okay, and if we say six, and du du should be three values. Now, a good test, we're gonna stay in a valley for a while, say four Ds, and we come up. That four Ds should, should count as one. So that should be 14, I believe, from that. So that's four values, not more than that. All those four Ds count as one value. I think that worked. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and submit the code. All green so far. Cool, that was our first interview question, coding question in HackerRank. Until now, we were doing just the normal problem solving. And I will continue to do more and more. And by the way, the reason I'm doing this is because I'm seeing lots and lots of DevOps in your positions requiring programming knowledge, not just Terraform or Kubernetes or Ansible. All right, hope, you, hope this was useful, uh, and I will see you in the next video.